So basically, vacuo in plant cells, they tend to have very few, either one, two, or three at max. Okay, these are spaces that do the same function as that in animal cell. They store water and dissolve substances like sugar and salt. Okay, the function, however, is actually to make the cell firm by taking in water. Okay, if you write down this as the function, it is also acceptable. Meaning, if you write down um, the function of the vacuole in plant cell is there to store water and dissolve substances such as sugar and salt, it is accepted. Okay, if you write this, it is also accepted. Okay, next, let's take a look at cell sap. Cell sap is found in the vacuole. So what does this mean, found in the vacuole? You have, this is the cell membrane of the cell, cell wall of the cell, the nucleus, the vacuole. The content inside is called the cell sap. The structure here is the vacuole. Okay, so it's just like that of the nucleus and chromosomes. Okay, liquid that contain dissolved sugar and salt is found in there. It's found in the cell sap. Okay, the function is to keep the cell firm by taking in water. Next, let's take a look at chloroplasts. For chloroplasts, chloroplasts are normally found around here. As you can see, it's found around here. It is slightly smaller as compared to the nucleus. This dense circle that I'm drawing here is your nucleus. Other than that, those oblong structure, they are the chloroplasts. Okay, tiny green, this light structure, which contains chlorophyll. This is the description. The function is to trap sunlight to make food. Then we have the cell wall. Cell wall is this over here, cell wall. Cell wall is made of thick cellulose layer, the description. It supports and gives the cell shape. Starch green are normally Present in the plant cell, again, description, is there to store food. Starch grains are found over here in the cytoplasm, slightly smaller than chloroplasts. 